Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, I'm checking out again the free Microsoft Office to see how to use it on my iPad. And this time, I will use it with my iPad desktop setup. With the help, of course, of the Shift Screen 4X app. Let me show you first my simple setup. And for those of you who have seen my last iPad desktop video, you may notice I made a minor upgrade. I now have a monitor arm and this is really a game changer as I can adjust my screen when I work, whether I'm working on my demanding day job or when I work on my YouTube videos. I can now easily adjust the height of my screen and I can even move it vertically. To connect my iPad to my monitor, I use the Lention iPad Stand. Obviously, it connects my iPad to the monitor via the HDMI connection but it also charges my iPad and I can also plug in my SD card. I'm using the iPad Pro 11 inch and it's not the M1 version but the 2020 model. It's still working like a beast. And today I'm using my Blitzwolf KB BW1 mechanical keyboard paired with the Magic Mouse. And my monitor is the BenQ GW2780 27 inch monitor. The new member of my desk setup is this monitor arm that I got from Lazada and I got it at quite a reasonable price. I'll link it in the description box below. Though I seldom need to do this, but I would just like to show you that I can adjust the screen vertically with the help of this monitor arm and of course because of the all new Shift Screen 4X app. I can adjust the monitor configuration to change the display vertically. To do this is to simply go to the gear icon on the lower left corner, choose monitor configuration, add a new configuration, and choose screen rotation. And do the same steps to put it back to horizontal orientation. Now let's get to work. I want us to go through together how to use and if we can use the free version of Microsoft applications. I'm using the Shift Screen 4X app that allows me to use the whole screen of my monitor. And this is good enough as we will use Microsoft's web app anyway. And we will use web app because this is where we can use it for free. It wasn't easy for me to find the free version in Microsoft's website. So what I did is something everyone does. I Googled using the keyword free Microsoft. So I chose the first link and it brings me to this page where I can sign up for a free account. Here, I signed up using my own email address, but you can see here as well that there are other options to create an account. I was asked to create my own password and verify my account and confirm I'm not a robot. What is strange though is that when I clicked next after I confirm, it gave me this error message. Not sure why I got this error message, maybe because of the browser, but I ignored the error and went back to the sign-in page anyway. And see, it works. Now I'm signed in for the first time and Microsoft tries to offer me the premium Microsoft 365. But here it also explains that the free office for web is available, but only for online apps and with only 5 GB of storage. Not much, but it's a good start. From the office.com homepage, I have access to the different applications, including OneDrive. But seems Microsoft is very secure as I had to sign in again to go into OneDrive. And from here, you also see the storage counter to see how much space you have left. 
So now let's try to use Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. I can create documents anywhere from office.com. When I click on new document, a new tab will open and it asks me though to verify again and enter my password. When I created new Excel and PowerPoint though, you'll see that later in the video, it did not ask me to do that. Just a note and don't be surprised if it happens to you. So creating a Word document is as natural as it can be. It has the features that we all are familiar with. I can copy texts from a website and I can paste it on the Word web app. However, pasting photos from another web page is not working. And I think this is a limitation on the web app itself, not necessarily on shift screen because it happens even if I use it on Safari. Next, let's see if we can make a PowerPoint document. Same as Word document, I can create a new PowerPoint from OneDrive. And again, the same as Word, we have here all the familiar options and functions that we know of. The basic edits and design options are available here. Although, what I notice is that there's an option to pick online photos but it seems it's not working. But when I use the photos from my iPad, I can upload the photos with no issues. Last, let me show you guys a quick sample of Excel. Here, I must admit, using the web app is not really easy to use. The navigation is not as smooth as in the app, so this may turn out to be frustrating to a lot of users. And note, this is again not a limitation on shift screen because it also happens when I use Excel in Safari. Every time I select a cell, the options, the edit options here automatically display and I have to click on edit or double click on a cell to type in it. Then if I want to do an autofill, it is at first hit and miss, but what I notice is that I have to click and hold on the bottom right corner of the cell. Then wait for it to turn to bold green box and when I drag, autofill will work. So let's say for simple sheets where you don't need much manual manipulation, it may work. But if you're planning to make complex sheets, this may not be the way to go for you. As for using the Microsoft apps that are downloadable in the iPad via the App Store, I did some tests and this is the same as what I discovered in my first video, that you can only view documents if you're using the free Microsoft Office account. You will see this warning on the top that to edit and save, you need to sign in with a subscription. So my tip, especially if you're trying to access Word document shared by others that you need to edit on your iPad, delete the app, then you can access the file shared with you via the web app, meaning through the browser. Then you can edit away and save using your free account. Last one for this video is the sharing option. Most, if not all of us, are now working online, so sharing documents online is quite important to most of us. And to share is to simply click on the share icon on the top right of the document. And aside from this icon inside the document itself, there are other options in OneDrive or in Office. Just look for the share icon. 
How to share for the free version is to either share with the link by using the copy link option or allow access per email address. In my previous video, I was able to share files to users who don't have Microsoft account. It still seems to be the case. Just make sure to choose the option that says anyone with the link can edit. If you use the other option, which says specific people, Microsoft will do the check if the email you're sharing with has a Microsoft account or not. The user without Microsoft account can access the document, as you see here, I can click on edit even when I'm not signed in. And of course, the document owner and other users who have access to it can see the edits. If you want to share the document but don't want to edit, just untick the option Allow Editing. So hope this video helps and though Excel is not that fun to use on the web app, at least we have the free option. It's nice to have the option to use Microsoft for free on the iPad and have a way to use it in full screen or even in vertical mode. That is thanks to Shift Screen Forex app. So that's it. Thanks for watching.